I'm not asking you to ever make someone feel sorry for yourself. I'm not asking you to complain. I'm just asking you point blank. How hard is the off the field job of a college football coach at a place like Penn State, major college football, you're expected to compete at the national level. Do you feel like it's just always been hard or are there unique challenges today that make it uniquely harder than it has been before? Yeah, I think it's very different. Um, you know, I say to people all the time in today's college football as an assistant or as a coordinator, um, you know, you can make a really good living and and still stay true to what you loved about the game uh, and that's coaching ball and that's being with the players and in this role you're doing so many things other than football at most places there's a few places across the country where you don't have to be but um, at most places you, the head coach responsibility you're taking on so many things other than scheme fundamentals and coaching um, and I tell people all the time, you could make an argument right now uh, if you're Manny Diaz um, and you can just be a, a great coordinator and, and coach ball and be around the guys and, and leave all the drama to me. Uh, there's a lot of value in that. And I think if you know, a lot of coaches may be in, in my seat now, if, if they look back the way things have changed, you know, you're responsible for these kids 24 hours a day. And that didn't used to be the case. Um, I'm responsible for 125 18 to 22 year old males, the most unpredictable group <laughs> of people on the planet, and you're responsible for them 24 hours a day. And then again, at a lot of places, there's so many things that are outside of your control um, that really can impact the job you're doing and how you're able to compete on Saturdays. That, that's where it can be frustrating at times. I've always pictured if I was ever a head coach, I would, I would say a prayer before I went to bed, and I would say another one when I woke up in the morning, just hoping nothing happened overnight. Because of the stuff that sometimes is out of your control, you can have the best culture in the world. You guys have a pretty darn good one here, but ultimately it's on decision making. And it's on decision making of guys that you hope you've put in the best position, but ultimately have to put themselves in the best position. I mean, is there, is there ever just random nervousness when you wake up in the morning? Even though you may have confidence in guys, they're still human. Yeah, I'm looking to knock on wood here, to be honest with you. You know, I, I will say this. Being at a place like Penn State helps. Penn State attracts a certain type of kid from a, from a certain type of family, uh, and I think that helps. On top of that, I tell the coaches all the time, let's not get intoxicated by talent and talent alone. You know, we should be recruiting the whole package here. So that helps. I mean, don't get me wrong. Got 125 guys on the roster. We got five knuckleheads, yeah. but but – our knuckleheads are, are different than maybe what some, some other people are dealing with. Not, again, knock on wood. Um, but I'm proud of our guys, of how they go about their business in the classroom and in the community. But it's, it's constant. I mean, you've got to be talking about these things constantly with your guys because at the end of the day, they're still kids. And I think that's where people get confused sometimes. They see them, and they're six foot five, 295 pounds, they look like grown men, but they're, they're still just young kids that are still growing and developing.